Hi, I'm Nash. Now, with huge file size, it is always very hard to send it over the internet. And that can be very troublesome because it can take very long to download or even send across over the internet. So that is why um, there's a need to reduce the file size if we do not need to use this file for printing. Right, so I'm going to show you two simple ways to reduce the file size in less than three minutes. Okay, and with that, if you look at this file size, it is actually about 2.3 megabytes just for one file in JPG format. And once we have actually converted to a lower file size, it can be of 540 kilobytes, which is about 25% of the original file size. And if you do it with a higher compression, it is about 128 kilobytes compared to 2.3 megabytes. That is like 10% um, of the file size. Okay, so right now I'm going to show you how to do that. With your Word document, you will just need to com put your file into your Word document and um, resize it as per what you want it to be. Okay, so with Word document, what you should do is you should go to your file and reduce file size in your Word document uh, software. You'll come up with this window that tells you that this is the best for printing, which is not the case that we want because we only want to transfer it for someone to, to see it and not for printing purposes. Okay, so we can actually keep it to best for sending an email, which is like 96 ppi. Okay, once you've done that and hit on OK, this is the file, it has already compressed for you. All you need to do is file, save as. Okay, so I'm going to save it to um, over here. I'm just going to rename it to, for example, NAS Exercise 2 and Storyboard. Okay, I'm going to call it Storyboard 1. Okay, and make sure I'm going to save it as PDF. Okay, so with that, I'm going to hit on Save. All right, and let's take a look at this file that we have created earlier on. It is 128 kilobyte. Simple, isn't it? Now, assume you do not have a Word document and you can't uh, find the function to reduce the file size. Now, we're going to try to uh, export this as an original file size and let's see what's the file size like. Okay, and here now, okay. So, file, save as. Again, I'm going to save it as Storyboard 2. And again, I'm going to save it as PDF and hit on Save. Alright, right now you can see the original file without having further compressed is about 540 kilobytes. That is fair enough. But let's say you have a lot of images in your file that you want to compress. I'm going to show you the second method that if you can't find it in your Word document, you can still compress it online. So what you should, what you should do is just go to Google and the location is called ilovepdf.com. You can just remember this, this location. Next, go to compress PDF. Okay, and it will ask you to select a PDF to compress the file. So let's go to here, which is our file. And this is the file that we have earlier on that is about 540 kilobytes. And let's just drag and drop this onto this website and he will ask you to, and this new button will appear that says compress PDF. So click on this compress PDF and you'll compress for you. And I did not cut this video short. It already compressed for you immediately. And in fact, it helped you download it over here. So I'm going to show it in Finder. <clears throat> this is the file size. All right. And let me just shrink this up. As you can see, it compressed your file to 103 kilobytes. All right, so I'm just going to copy it over here so you can have a comparison. Before compress, it is 540. After compress, it is 103, which is even much better than the normal Word document compress uh, function that you have. Okay, so Compared to this, the original storyboard, which is about 2.3 megabytes, you will save lots of time and lots of space if you are using Dropbox or Mega 
to contain your file. Okay, so that's it, and I hope you will use this to reduce your file size for a more efficient workflow. Thank you very much, and I'm Nash Lin. See you again.